Hello everyone. So right now that we have already were able to map through all the data that's coming directly from the API. So but the next thing that we should be doing is we need to click on either one of this and by clicking on either one of this it should be going to the blog page the content where we can actually read read through the content of these two blogs so that's what we're going to do in this particular part of the video so in order to do that we need to make sure by clicking on either one of this we need to go into this page so that then there needs to be a page uh, there needs to be a like we need to go to a different page once we enter this either one of this so in order to, to go to this page we need to make sure that we are able to uh, like I mean the the link here should be either like blog and uh, followed by what 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 blog is that like let's say this is blog one this is blog two so that's the one that we're going to do right now so in order to uh, make something like this it's called routing so routing is what we're going to implement for this the first part of the all right everyone so this is the code that we have been working on and as you can see here there's already a routing process going on in app.js so what you can do here is that as you can see the first this is the structure of the router which is router followed by switch and your first route here which we have already uh, started with which is the which is the root route which is just a slash so basically just by putting a slash it says it means that whatever that comes in your uh in your root route which is your local host just local host without any slashes or any branches it should go to this page exactly like this which is called block index so block index is is basically this the pages that we include all the the blocks that are already inside your strapi so what we can do here the next thing we need to do is that we need to make sure that uh by changing the the uh like for example like there's a slash and then that's followed by block followed by the ID of the block, then it should go to a particular content of a block. That's what we're going to do here. So there's another page that we need, we need to use, which is called uh, blog, which can be accessed from pages like this. So we need to go to pages and as you can see, the blog is already here. This is the page that we're going to, this is the page that we're going to implement uh, right along with this root route. For example, let's copy the root route like this. And once we have copied, just gonna paste it like this here. And in this case, it's uh, instead of block index again, I'm just gonna say uh, blog. And as you can see here, this blog page has already been imported. As you can see, we have already imported uh, the page blog.js earlier. So what we can do here is that we need to uh, we don't we don't we are not sending any uh, uh, parameter or any props. So I'm just gonna close it. The next thing is that let's take this block for JS and I'm going to place it right here. And there you go. This is the code. This is the code for block for JS. This is some simple code where we can actually use it. And let's make sure the path is uh, followed by blog. And there you go. Let's save. And also we need to make sure that root path is all, all, always be at the most top bottom, at the most bottom to make sure that it's like the this like the least uh, the final option once the, all the other options are filled. So let's go to our browser, and as you can see here, I mean this is not the we need to make sure block and just make sure that you have written block. And there you go. This is the most. This is the code that's that is the that that's inside the block.js. So you can see this is just a dummy data which you can actually link. You can find it inside that block.js code. I've just used privacy policy page instead of blog so, so that we can actually build from scratch. So that's the idea, basic idea of routing where we are actually changing the path. And the next thing that I would like to use, I would like to show you guys is I would like to go to the, uh, the, the, the root page first. And I would like to go to the previous page which I just showed you, which is the block page by clicking either one of this. So that's the that's the second part of the video is all about, which I'll be adding. I need to go to block index first, which is here. So block index is what we're gonna is where we're gonna add the uh, the the code so that we are able to access the the block page instead. Currently we are in the block index page, so let's go to block index first. So let's go to a particular yeah this is the page that this is the code for the 
the repeating group of we have and we are mapping through the cut of uh, blocks so this is where we're going to add the the code for actually linking from this page to another page so we need to make sure we have something to be called as a link so link is what we're going to use it for this particular uh, part of the video which is the second part so let's go to this this is your container here so the container should be wrapped with link Oops, sorry not not the container should be wrapped with link the post yeah this post is actually the card this card should be wrapped let me just select all should be wrapped with uh, let me just go here and also like go here let me just free it up inside this should be wrapped with link okay so I'm just gonna take this closing and I'm gonna replace it on below here so just make sure you are actually you have actually wrapped the whole uh, uh, post yeah post class postcard here is the whole thing inside to uh, inside link so link is what we're going to use it to actually to change the change the uh, address example from localhost to blog for by one something like that so well, that's what you're going to do so let's go and make it make it a uh, two first and let's make it two and once we are done uh, just typing two and just let me put a uh, equal sign and followed by open and closing curly braces and we also need to have a quotation mark and inside we're going to name going to change it to slash blog okay so this is what the first part is uh, second part is all about just making sure by cl clicking on this card you are able to go to uh, to another you are able to route yeah that's a word route to uh, this page called blog to uh, do the same uh, link which is this slash block slash and also make sure you are having the same uh, path for inside your app.js as well by doing this we are able to go to the same page i mean from although coming from different uh yeah source codes so what we're gonna do we need to make sure we are able to save save this code and once saving let's go to our browser and let's give it a check here as you can see here let me just refresh it again okay so as you can see here there are some uh, errors here which we can deal with it later so what we can do here once we have already uh, added the code let's by let's go and click one of the one of the block here and as you can see here by clicking on one of the blocks i was able to go to slash block slash so slash block slash is the route that's path for putting your block inside here so that's the uh, second part of the video is all about so also you can also give it a try for this particular uh, code here so in the next uh, part of the video, which will be in the next video, uh, I'll be walking you guys through on how to exactly show the content that comes from this code, I'm sorry, from this block, and I'll be showing, I'll be able to use this particular uh, privacy policy. I mean, instead of privacy policy, I should be having the title of the block one. And also let's, but let's say if I would go to block two instead, I should be having the title of block two instead. So what does it mean is that I must be able to pass data into into this page called blog index. So that's the, the next part of the video all about, next part of the course is all about. So until then, let's meet in our next uh, subsequent videos and, uh, and yeah, hope you are able to catch up until here and until then, thanks.